Hello friends, this is Amy and welcome to my channel. This is video number three in my Christmas series and today's project is a trash to treasure. We're going to make gnomes out of these three bottles. Two of them are pill bottles and one is a cleaning bottle. So all you're going to do is, um, these two are glass and I like the weight of them. And this one is just a regular pill bottle and I filled it up with some sand to give it some weight. Now I had some felt and so I'm just going to take and wrap all of these bottles in the felt and going to glue it on with hot glue and you can see that all I'm doing is just wrapping it to see how well it fits. I'm not doing any measuring because everybody's, uh, you know, your bottles are all going to be a little different. Bigger bottle, bigger gnome, you know, that kind of a thing. I like the little things so I'm just going to wrap these little bottles and secure it down with some hot glue. Now when I got to the top, all I did was just wrap it around. It really doesn't matter because it's all going to get covered up with uh, fabric anyway to make the little hats. If you aren't already a subscriber, I would encourage you to like and subscribe to my channel. Liking it helps my channel grow and I really appreciate that. These little gnomes would make great gifts for friends, co-workers, even shelf sitters for yourself. This is showing that I got a Dollar Tree mop head and I'm going to use that for the beard on a couple of these cute little gnomes. And so I needed something to kind of secure it to. I'm just going to make a little beard and I'm cutting a piece of that leftover felt and just going to hot glue the mop head right on top of that little strip of felt. And once it was secure and dry, then I trimmed it down. Now you can see that I've got just a little beard and before I put it onto my bottle I'm just going to unravel those little strands and make it a curly beard. I didn't like that it wasn't thick enough I could see the brown underneath so then I just added a few pieces on top. Now you can see I've got something I can just glue down onto the bottle. Now on to the hat. Again, all I did was just kind of roughly 
measure things and make it fit. I'm just pulling over the edge so it's a nice look to the, the edge of his little hat. And I'm going to secure it to the back side. Notice I'm not putting any glue on the beard part. The reason for that right now is because I need a little spot to put the gnome nose, which is just a wooden bead. And now finish it out by making this into a tube and holding it in place until that glue dries. The hot glue that I'm using is uh, it's a Gorilla Glue and it works just fine, but you could use a fabric type glue if you wanted to. I just put a little bit of fiber fill in there just to give it a little height. You wouldn't have to if you didn't want to. And then just pulling that together and tying it off. Now for the little bead nose. Again, it's up to you. You could paint these if you wanted. I kind of like just the plain look of wood. And just put that on there. And on this one, I decided I wanted a little brim along his hat because I just thought the combination will look so cute. This again is just more yarn and it's just thicker. I did buy it at Walmart. And this I ended up tea staining with hot tea and just letting it sit for a while. And then you rinse it out and let it dry and it's, cause it started out as a white and uh, made it this color. I did not like that little hole at the bottom of the bead. So I just decided to give him a little mustache. Now we needed a little trim, his little beard trim, and so I'm just trimming away to kind of make it look like it uh, looks respectable. And if you want, you can trim up that top part to make it a little frayed edge, which makes it that much cuter. And he's done for now. Let's keep moving on our gnomes. This is the one with the plastic pill bottle. Just showing you I use that same technique and just going to unravel his little beard. And I decided to try to brush this one out. Uh, the mop heads from Dollar Tree aren't real good quality and so it just pretty much knotted it up. I think they're made of cotton and However they make it, you know, it just, uh, it just doesn't brush out well like regular yarn would, but it actually looked fine. And so I just trimmed it up and we called it good. Now on this one, I decided to start with the tube instead of putting it on just to see how well this part worked and just rolling it and wrapping it and making it into a tube. If you wanted to, you could use your sewing machine for this part. And we just wanted to tuck in that edge so it's not a rough edge and popped it right on. Same process, I'm gonna glue on the back side and leave it open in the front for the nose. Now instead of making it up, I decided to bring this one around the side and kind of gather it so his little hat was um, leaning off to the side. The best way to finish off something like this with those rough edges is just to put a nice little uh, 
you know, a pom-pom or I had like this little puff ball. Even a cotton ball would work. And then I'm just going to put a little smaller nose on this one. And just attach everything down with the hot glue. Let's move on to that third gnome. These are going fast and they're very fun to make. This is some gray yarn I had purchased. And all I'm going to do is wrap it around my hand. And this is going to become the beard for the third gnome and just tie it off in the middle and then trim it along make cut that loop the loops of the yarn so you have a nice beard Now, like I had said prior, you could take an, uh, a comb and comb this out, but I decided just to leave it like this because I liked it. But I'll bet it'd work really nice with this yarn if you wanted to comb it out. This hat's going to be even easier than the other two because I'm just using a sock. If you find any of these cute little socks at Dollar Tree, pick them up because this makes a cute and easy hat for a cute little project like this. So all you're going to do is I incited it out and tied it off and I just trimmed it and then I incited it back out the right way, put it back on and I decided I wanted a pom-pom so it's the same um, process. I'm using some chenille yarn and just making a pom-pom by wrapping around my fingers tying it off, and then trimming the loops. Now, if you want a thicker pom-pom, you just use more yarn, and you just trim it down to whatever you like. Now on to the cute little nose. And with this one, I put it under there and I just kind of wrapped it around. And it's just interesting how the personalities look so different by the way you put their hats on. Just see the differences um, with the colors you could use. A little girl would be cute with uh, some pinks. And you know, braids are always cute too with these little gnomes. Somehow you'd probably want to get around not using a beard, but um, you know, you could add more to this to make it, you know, more of a cute little gnome or leave it plain as is. I decided I wanted to put little bottoms on all of these. So all I did was I traced around the scrap piece of that felt and glued it on the bottom. No one will ever know that what you've got inside these little gnomes unless you tell them. And here are my little trio of gnomes. I want to thank you for joining me and watching my video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. It helps my channel grow and I appreciate it. Keep tuning in for some fun new projects. I've got more in my Christmas series. The next one is going to be ornaments. Enjoy your day and thank you again. Bye-bye, my friends.